Over the past year of the protracted Israeli-Palestinian conflict, although Egypt did not see bloodshed on its own territory, the country was overshadowed by the agony of the war because it borders southern Gaza. In early May, the Rafah crossing has been closed since the Israeli army took control of the border from the other side. I went to the Egyptian side of the crossing and saw trucks loaded with urgently needed aid for Gaza lined up for several kilometers in the already hot weather. When I thought about the dire humanitarian crisis facing the refugees in Gaza, including one million children, I was shocked at the cruelty of the war, with one borderline being the threshold of life and death. Recently, I went to the Fado Island, a Palestinian refugee village three hours' drive from Cairo. The village is home to about 10,000 Palestinian refugees, and most of them were unable to obtain the Egyptian permit for work or access to the assistance and relief provided by the UNRWA. At the age of seven or eight, children in this village have to begin to help their parents to sort and recycle rubbish for a living in very frustrating conditions. There are about 60,000 Palestinian refugees live like this in Egypt, and their untold suffering and desperate desire to go home are passed down from generation to generation. Only an immediate ceasefire and lasting peace can end all this tragedy. And let these children from Gaza, who can only run barefoot because of poverty, find their way home as soon as possible.